This is lesson 9-2, which is solving quadratic equations by factoring. Our essential question is how does factoring help you solve quadratic equations? So the first example we're going to look at is the zero product property. So the zero product property says that if you have two values, like a times b, and multiplying them together results in zero, that means that either a equals zero or b equals zero. So we're going to use that idea when we have factors. So we've already factored it into two things that are being multiplied. So what we can do is we can set each parentheses equal to zero. So I can say x minus 9 equals zero or 5x plus 2 equals zero. And I can solve that each individual equation. So I can add 9 to both sides. So I get x equals 9, I can subtract 2, so I get 5x equals negative 2, and then divide by 5, so x equals negative 2 fifths. So just like with our last um, lesson, the two values that I just found are my x-intercepts, or where my graph crosses the x-axis, those are my solutions. So then the next one is how can I use factoring to solve? So the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure always that it's all on the same side of the equation. So I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus 9x, and then I'm going to add 20 to both sides. So this would be plus 20 equals 0. So in order to factor a quadratic, I have to have it equal to 0. Okay. Now this is like what we did back when we were factoring. We're going to say what two numbers multiply to 20 and add to 9. So if we look at our list of multiplying factors of 20, we have 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. 4 and 5 add up to 9. So we can say x plus 4 times x plus 5 equals 0. And then just like the previous problem, I can set each of these factors into equations equal to zero. So then if I subtract four over here, I would get x equals negative four and x equals negative five. So those would be my two solutions, the two spots where this graph crosses the x-axis. Okay, and my last example here. So we're going to look at how can you use factoring to graph the function f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. So first of all, I'm going to factor this. So I'm going to set it equal to 0, and then I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply to negative 8 but add to negative 2. So I could say negative 1 and 8, or 1 and negative 8, negative 2 and 4, or negative oops, or 2 and negative 4, and so it's going to be 2 and negative 4. So we would factor this into x plus 2 and x minus 4. So then if I set each of these equal to 0, I'm going to get negative 2 and positive 4 as my zeros. So what that means is if I go to the graph, I can plot a point at negative 2, and I can plot a point at 4 on the x-axis. So that gives me two points for my graph. Then if we go back to some of our previous lessons, I know I can find the vertex using negative b over 2a. So that would be negative negative 2 over 2 times 1. That's 2 over 2, which is just 1. And then I can plug that into my function. So it be 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 8. And I get negative 9. So that means the vertex is at the point 1, negative 9. So I can plot the vertex right there. And then since this is started out in standard form, I know my y-intercept is right there at negative 8. And then I can use that to mirror to the other side. So we just found five points using both the vertex equation and factoring it. Okay, so this is how we can use factored form to graph, to solve quadratic functions.